Hello. So for my tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use a zoom, how to create a zoom in feature in Adobe After Effects using a camera and a null object. Now for my little testy bit, we're just going to use this pre-made asset that I have um, that I use for another project. Um, so first things first, you're going to want to create a new layer. So you're going to go to layer, new, and then first you're going to want to make the null object. Uh, for null objects, it's just going to be this little red square right here, and that will encompass basically the entire composition. Um, the null object does not exist at all. I mean, this little red square will not show up during your final rendering. So it's the red square is just there for you to see it because it's null and void. And now we go to layer, new, and camera. Um, for most of this, you won't need to know m most of this techno babble unless you're getting super far into Adobe Illustrator After Effects. So you're going to press OK. I'm going to hit OK once again. And then you're going to take your little whirly dinghy right here. You're going to make the null object your parent for the camera. Now, for this next bit, you're going to want to make sure that both the null object and the uh, image that you're using are set to 3D. You can do that by clicking on this little cube in, this, in the three box checklist section. Um, it'll be right next. It'll be at the far end, right next to motion to no wait. That's adjustment layer. Anyways, now because now we have that, now that we have this, we can start messing around with our keyframes. Now, personally, I will mess around with both the null object and the camera. The camera, because that it's a 3D object, will give us access to a zoom. And as you can see, it's moving the composition in and out. Um, so for now, let's just say that we want them to just be right here. So we click our little stopwatch, move it to about mm, 10 seconds, and then you can meticulously <laughs> drag it across. Um, or if you want to get super specific, you can type in actual numbers. Um, but for a little bit more finer, you're going to want to do more of like just this, um, or at least this is what I find helpful, especially for something that if I want specifically. Um, now the nice thing is, and of course if we hit play, it'll slowly zoom in over the course of 15 seconds, and I'm impatient so we're going to move that there, and we're going to replay that and it'll be a lot faster. And would you look at that, we get a nice little zoom in. Now, zooming in is nice. However, say at this point you want to zoom in. Now, you can also mess around with the X and Y. But, as you can see, it's uh, <laughs> you're kind of more tilting it and you're looking at it more at an angle, which can create a cool effect, but for the intent, for the purposes of this tutorial, that's not what we want. So this is where you're going to want to go to the null object. Um, if you ever just want to bring up a single aspect of your Adobe, of like one of your objects, like rotation, position, scale, uh, you can hit P for position, R for rotation, which this is literally just me clicking on it and then just pressing the corresponding key. And you can press the same key again to dispel it. So R scale for rotation, S is scale, P is for position, and maybe hit T. It gives you opacity. That's cool. Anyways, um, so of course we're going to want to probably hit position at the at zero zero, and using our shift, we're going to want the camera to oh I don't know say out there just and as you can see it's slowly moving to the right 
Now, this can kind of help with making. Now, this help. Now, this is really nice with uh, subtle changes. So, actually, in one of my videos, I wound up doing a really subtle shift. So, like, say we're right here, straight in your face. Come over here. Uh, you will want to be careful because Adobe After Effects gets a little touchy if you try and do stuff while moving it. Now sometimes you will get these little artifact keyframes. Um, sometimes that will actually mess up with your animations. So now... Zooms into the right side of the paper, which is cool. So. This has been my tutorial on how to make a zooming minion effect. Uh, I hope you find this really helpful. It helps me with mine. Um, and this is just some stuff you can do. This is what I wound up doing. But you can make the camera do like a little... With different keyframes, like... I don't know, if you're feeling particularly saucy, you could even say... Zoom in here, and then... I don't know. Uh, well, could you do like here and then zoom out? And then, so for like this, you can be like, okay, so we're gonna wanna toggle that keyframe to hold, and then you can click on that, do Command C and then Command V, right click on it again, do the toggle hold, and now, it's going to create this nice, it'll actually stay at that level and just slide across and then just zoom out. This gives you a little bit more freedom and like I said, this is literally just some random thing that I did in like probably five minutes just making sure I got everything right. Um, so yeah, sky's the limit with this. I hope you found this helpful and that will be all. Have a good day.